Welcome to Spidell's California Minute. I'm your host, Catherine Zidane, and this week we're covering the FTB's city and county tax information sharing program as it relates not only to home-based businesses, but to employees working remotely from home. There's still time to register for Spidell's federal and California tax update, and we have live seminar and live webinar sessions available through the end of January. You can get details and get registered at caltax.com. With so many taxpayers conducting business out of their homes, it's a good idea to review the details of the FTB's City and County Business Tax Information Sharing Program, which was extended indefinitely in 2018. Under the Information Sharing Program, the FTB enters into agreements with cities and counties to obtain business licensing data regarding compliance with state income tax requirements. And the cities and counties use FTB data to make sure that businesses located in their jurisdictions are complying with the city business tax requirements. Businesses that are required to obtain a business license from the city where they're located include home-based and online businesses, residential and commercial real estate rentals, and vacation rentals. Make sure that, as part of your annual client review process, to ask whether your business clients, including Schedule C filers, are current with their city business licenses. Running a business out of the house does not exempt a taxpayer from any licensing requirements. An employer with W-2 employees working from home also may need to register with the cities where their employees are living and working. For example, a business with employees working from home in San Diego and San Francisco is required to register with those cities for a business tax certificate. But this may not be the case for all cities. It's important to note that the responsibility to register with a city lies with the business, not with the employee. Your clients will need to verify with their city or county to find out who has to apply and what the licensing procedures encompass. Some local jurisdictions only require an annual fee, and others base their taxes on a percentage of gross revenues or income attributable to the locality. Currently, there are 41 cities participating in the program, and there are no counties participating in the program. Under the terms of the program, the FTB can only provide a city or county with tax data for taxpayers with an address within that city's or county's jurisdiction. The information they can provide is limited to the taxpayer's name, address, social security number or taxpayer identification number, and principal business activity code. A city's or county's tax officials can request other information from the FTB, but they have to do so by affidavit. A copy of the affidavit has to be provided to the taxpayer whose information is being requested, and upon request, the obtained information has to be made available to that taxpayer. However, the FTB can request certain information from a city or county without an affidavit. We covered this topic in Spidell's California Tax Letter, a monthly publication written by California tax pros for California tax pros. For subscription information, visit caltax.com and click Publications. That's all for this week. Join us next time for another episode of Spidell's California Minute.